how to make some really awesome line art in Adobe Illustrator. So tune in and just see how easy it is to make today's line art. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. I'm going on vacation very soon for the first time in a couple of years because I really do need one. I've had very little time leading up to this vacation and so my videos this week have been quite shorter than normal. I've also pre-recorded some videos next week for when I'm away, including today's video. So due to lack of time, today's video is kind of a re-upload which I posted on my channel over a year ago now, so I'm quite sure that many of you or even most of you have not seen it. Yeah, let's jump in today's video on an awesome but a very easy line art technique. For this line art effect, you need to upload an image into Adobe Illustrator that you would like to use as inspiration. Then grab the brush tool from the toolbar or you could just press B on your keyboard. I suggest testing the stroke beforehand and resizing it accordingly. And right now the colour doesn't matter too much. The technique requires that you very crudely and very simply draw around your image using different shapes. So kind of break the image into segments and drawing those shapes. For the technique to work you need at least two different shapes and with very little detail. So here I've drawn the wing of the bird and I've put in some very small details inside. And again, I've done the same with the head of the bird too. You really don't have to be precise with this effect and it's very very easy to do indeed. It's a good idea to make the shapes overlap somewhere, so for example here the head and the body are overlapping with the two sections. This will benefit the final outcome when performing the next step in today's tutorial. I've moved my design off of the canvas so I can see it more clearly. I'm going to demonstrate a technique on each part of the bird. So let's start with the wing. Select all of the relevant lines and the shapes and then head up to Object, Blend and Blending Options. You want to use specified steps for this technique and then the amount of steps you can use you need to experiment with. Then once you're ready, go back up to Blend, but this time choose Make. And there you can see the line art effect has taken place. I've gone ahead and done this for all parts of the bird, but the tutorial is not over yet. And actually, I've gone back to the start of the process and I redrew my bird. You might want to do this several different times because the different lines that you make in the design will have a different outcome when you use the Blend option. But once you're actually happy with the final design, you can edit the colour right here in the stroke colour palette. And also you can even add a gradient to it fairly easily. So now all that's left to do is to use your design wherever you want. And if you want this PSD mockup that you can see on screen, head down in the description below and you're going to find a link to it. But like I said guys, remember I'm going on vacation next week and there are going to be uploads, just they're going to be a bit shorter than normal. I'm really pleased with the feedback and how this channel is progressing. I love making videos for you guys and I love graphic design and I love more than anything else seeing you guys responding to my content and telling me that you find it useful and that it's helped. Remember to subscribe if you want to keep updated to all of my content and of course until next time, design your future today. Peace.